As ballots slide through scanners, both the Democratic and Republican parties are pouring legal resources into the state of Pennsylvania. KDK's Megan Schiller joins us live to break down the post-election legal battles popping up across the Commonwealth. Megan. Kim, when it is a closely contested race, those lawsuits start to fly, and that's exactly what we're seeing here in Pennsylvania. As for in our area, the legal battles mostly center around ballot counting rules. Here it is, the biggest lawsuit to pop up in our area so far. It involves Republican Congressman Mike Kelly. He joined State House candidate Joseph Hamm and four other voters to drop a lawsuit on the Secretary of State, Kathy Bookvar. She calls Election Day a success. One of the smoothest, least issues election, presidential elections, than I, I've seen in, in any time that I could possibly remember, and I've been in and around elections for a long time. The lawsuit argues the opposite. It claims Bookvar changed the rules just hours before Election Day, allowing voters who messed up their mail-in ballots to, quote, cure them or fix them by casting a provisional ballot. The suit claims counties are confused and won't be able to properly segregate all the different ballots, some of which should be set aside because of a pending Supreme Court case. It's it's not accurate. We spoke to all of the voting system vendors. It is absolutely feasible in, in not and not even challenging. PA Senate Republicans disagree, accusing Bookvar of causing nothing but confusion. You're an employer and you had an employee whose performance level was so substandard that it confused all of your clients and customers, not once, not twice, about three times. I think you would terminate that employee. That's why they're calling for Bookvar to resign. She says she's not doing that, even praising her very busy legal team. I'm just going to give a shout out to the legal team in the Department of State who have been really put to work this year, and they are amazing. When it comes to fixing mistakes that are made on ballots, we're talking about things like ballots not being put in secrecy envelopes. Bookvar says that she believes contacting those voters and alerting them to those issues is something that is permissible in, according to Pennsylvania law. Obviously, the Republicans today arguing that they think that that is not correct, that it disenfranchises voters and it's not applicable across the board. Reporting live downtown tonight, Megan Schiller, KDK News.